finally, Alvarez has been given five star, five star. No dynamic image just yet, though. They'll probably give him one. They're just waiting for him to actually play a game and then they'll probably go ahead and do it. But yeah, five star, five star Alvarez, something that I wanted on his 98 rated card. If his 98 rated card at the time got five star, five star, I don't even want to know how many people would be using that card. Honestly, that card would have been unreal. There's one thing that I am slightly disappointed in with this card that, you know, the other card has got finesse shot plus. I think everyone knows, especially with everyone running around with their Mia Ham or Zebu, all of that kind of stuff, right? That how good finesse shot plus is in this game. It is absolutely broken. So this card, not having it is a little bit annoying. He ain't got technical. He ain't got quick step, but he has got some very good playstyle pluses. He's got rapid. He's got first touch, press proven and power shot as well. He looks very good. His stats as well. His stats are up there, especially for a, uh, a striker. We've also got Pele. Of course, he didn't just come out, but his SBC just came out. Again, no finesse shot plus, but finesse shot base. Another player's got power shot. Uh, he's got tick attack. He's got technical, quick step, no rapid. First touch is nice. No press proven, but it's Pele. I'll be very, very, very surprised if he's not good. And then we've got R9, the main man himself. So broken, by the way. One of the best. No, I pushed a one of the best. The best striker I have used in this game, hands down. Incredible. An absolute joke. And I'm pretty sure he goes to like three mil now, no? Less. He is under three mil? What? What happened? Well, to be honest, we are getting late into August now. That's exactly what happened. But yeah, that attack... That attack should cook. That attack should be unreal. Midfield looking very good as well. And then we got a 99 Frimpong, which I recently packed. I'm telling you, if if he has, right, height issues where he gets dunked on, unfortunately, he is not going to make the starting 11 because you guys know one of the most effective ways of scoring in this game is by uh, doing backstick crosses. And unfortunately, Frimpong being 5 foot 7, yeah. I don't know how well he'll be when it comes down to winning uh, backstick headers. But going forward, he should be like 99 dribbling with five star, five star. He should be one of the best attacking fullbacks in the game. So I'm expecting him to kind of just run all the way up there. But yeah, it's an incredible team. Get that ball from Pong. There you go. Go on, nine. Look at the pace. I see Alvarez all the way over there. Do this. No. Who is that? Ruben Diaz. Go straight for us like that. Nah, look at the way Frimpong is moving. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, 99 dribbling in a fullback position is just so nice to have. Because it allows you to create, like, angles so you can pass down the line so much easier. What a pass. Near post. Okay, I'll take some blame because I did yellow time it. All right, I won't put the blame all on him. But, like, not even on target, really? Nah, bad touch as well. No way. What a pass. I moved him. Okay, so everyone's just missing the target. That's what we're doing today. We don't want to hit it on target. Nah, not even challenge the keeper. All right. Seems like it's going to be one of those days. Play it. And again. Go. What a touch. Nice. All right, Pele. Come on. There you go, man. Nice finish. I need first time this. On nine. <gasps> no, I didn't see the run Yaya made. Blanc, go ahead. Yeah, honestly, don't sleep on Blanc. I'm not even joking. Like, don't sleep on him. I know he's so cheap, and I know a lot of people in Tini go, all right, the cheaper the player, usually tends to mean the player's not really that great if he's, like, what, 60,000. But I'm telling you, there's something about this Blanc which I don't even like playing up against. Oh, okay. I don't know where that ball's gone. Can I? There you go. Straight through. What? Okay, maybe I should have just shot. I went for a Lacoqueta shot to try to get around the keeper. Referee, I didn't touch him. Uh, let me try to pass up here. And again, straight through. Pele. Nice. Nice. Nice, man. Come on, Pele. Hey, he might not have, right? He might not have this finesse shot plus on him. But look at the way he's turning out there. Did you know 67% of people watching this video right now are not subscribed? So if you are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and hit that sub button. Everyone's team nowadays is looking incredible. Has he got a good team? Kamaving, a team of the year. Yeah, well, it's a pretty good team. Can I just run? Why not? Nah, come on. I gave him a backbone as well, so it increases his strength a little bit, but it is Havertz, and it's part of the glory Havertz as well. Straight through there. Oh, I thought there was going to be an overlap. I'm going to go all the way back here. 
Can't squeeze it through. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. See, I'll be honest. I was so tempted to go for finesse shot, like, far post. And then, again, I have to realize, because I'm used to using a striker with finesse shot plus. So, I need to kind of get used to not having a finesse shot plus player in that striker position. And then I can actually go for proper shots. How did... What? Play it down. Please tell me you get that. Oh, my God. He just... He stole it. Referee. Wait, hold on. Alvarez? Pele? Yeah, yeah, It eventually got in. Eventually. How is that not a penalty? There's no way he got the ball there, right? No way. Let right, I me mean, just stay calm. I don't think this is going to work, but you never know. It actually has. Hold on. Near post. This Havertz. Let me hit him with this. Straight through. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. Nah, just past the post. The dribbling's good, though. He feels very, very good on the ball. Get that Blanc. You know what? Blanc actually does really well to deal with players like Haaland. I've noticed. Like, way better than someone like Rudiger, for example. Not, yeah, eh, Rudiger does a pretty good job as well, but I feel like Blanc does a better job at just kind of dealing with Haaland. Trying to find a pass through the middle. There's no one. Wait, hold on. First time. There you go. Straight through. Pele. Nice. All right, I finish with that one, even though he ain't got finish shot plus. Like, finesse shot base, that should go in all day. Who's the goalkeeper? Oh, unbelievable. What a great goalkeeper that is. Bro, he has R9 and Haaland. Fair play, fair play. EA, what is that glitch? Go for him, Punk. Let's keep it going here. Keep it going. Keep it going. Dad, you can pass me the controller back. Thanks. Play it straight through. No, Alvarez. Oh, he just took a little bit too long. Like, I wanted a simple 180 turn there. We can go for a simple turn and just, you know, shoot it across goal. Like, he's got a five-star weak foot. Surely that thing goes in, especially with his shooting stats. There you go. That's a little bit more like it. Okay. Alvarez. Alvarez. You have to be kidding me, Alvarez. I even greened that as well. Get that ball. Okay, he's turned me inside out. Look at Frimpong, though. You can just tell, though, like, he's one of those players. Frimpong is one of those players that if you're getting pressed, like, you know there's a few people out there playing 100 depth because they know how good it is, right? Like, you can tell if you play up against one of those people. How does he finish that? But he doesn't finish the finesse shot wide open. I feel like that's a worse angle than the one we just saw. But you can tell Frimpong you can get out that pressure so easily with him. That's a great run. That's a good pass as well. Hot angle. Ooh, okay. I didn't green time that one. I mistimed it. So, hard angle as well. Do I expect that one to go in? Not really. Any options? Pele's kind of just chilling. Oh, nine. Give me an option, please. Thank you. Extra pass. Near post. <sighs> Renard. How? Play it quick. Driven it. Play it. Pele. All day. He's moved keeper. Fair play. It's not going to go in if he moves keeper like that, especially if I don't time it. Play it. Nice touch. He's onside as well. Come on. I don't think I can get round. Alvarez, though, coming short there. Hold on. Hold on. Nah, Desai was just on me the entire time. He did not let go. Come short, Yaya. First time. Oh, see, right there. Nice. Good finish. Really good finish. Right there, if you go back and see, the way uh, he kind of deselected the center back he didn't come towards me right there is when i go for a turn because i noticed that and i go for a finesse shot of course again with him not having the plus i can't really go for that but we made it work anyone back stick no i need someone to come short here there you go r9 near post i read time there i also thought he was going to go for a travella nice and again how did she just do the splits there and get that what alvarez Ah, I saw him, but... Hold on. Extra pass. Pele? Okay. All right, Reynard. All right. Uh, Mayday. Virgil, can you catch up? Probably not. He chipped. I haven't seen someone chip the ball in FC24 in... Oh, in a while. Extra pass. Go on, nine. All right, this should be all day a goal. Nice. 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 Hey, I tell you what, he has moments like that where all of a sudden it feels like, ah, I should have aimed near post. 
He does have moments like that where it feels like he can turn at any angle. But there's certain times that it feels weird. Like that, for example. You see that right there? You see how slow that 180 turn was? Like, he didn't do that two seconds ago. There's no way this goes in, but you know what? It's worth giving it a go. See what happens. If I get a corner from it, perfect. Okay, I'll be honest. I feel like Martinez uh, was kind of joking around with me a little bit because it looked like there was potential. But did you see how slow he dived? Referee, uh, a yellow card. I will accept a yellow card here. A red card? No, it wasn't a goal-scoring opportunity, clearly. It's a red, isn't it? It's a red card. Good team. Casillas. Okay. All right, Mbappe, team of the tournament. That, yeah. That card alone makes me scared. Play it. Ooh, okay. And a shot cancel. Ah, it's beautiful. He, honestly, he feels so good on the ball. Like, creating angles with him is so easy. Someone coming short. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what is happening, but my opponent is panicking. That has to go in. All right, it's a, it's a penalty. We'll take a penalty all day. How did that not go in, though? Pirlo usually just kind of slots that. Top right. Top right. Perfect. Back stick is... Okay, not open. I thought Pirlo was going to make the run. Yeah, bro. I don't know what turn that is. He's got like a slow 180 turn sometimes. It's very, very weird. But you don't... It, what's weird about it is you don't see it every time. Do this. Nice. Good touch. I should have passed. But yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I tried. That's why I tried against uh, Martinez the other game, but it didn't work. But with like Casillas in goal, it does go in. Frimpong, surely. No, no, man. Uh, the thing is with him defensively is, yeah, he is good at getting out the players. And I will say him putting in tackles is great. Him trying to push players off the ball, issue. Big issue. That's a nice pass. Near post. I need to be more composed there, though. That, that's kind of on me. Like, he's done everything perfect there. The run is really good. I just rushed it. What a pass. <sighs> Near post. Nice. Okay, we got the goal eventually. How many goals has he got? He's got six goals. Alvarez, four goals. Alvarez, he feels a little bit weird. I'm not, like, too big of a fan. 1.4 mil is a lot as well. I'll be honest, 1.4 mil as an SBC, you kind of don't expect those 180 turns to be as stiff as they are. Of course, you look at the dribbling stats, you're not going to, you know, feel like that's going to be the case. I feel like it might be his body type, potentially. I'm not saying it is. Like, average and short, it may be that, like, average, uh, the average body type, you know, coming in and making him feel a little bit weird with the 180 turns. So he is very good. I'm not saying he's bad. He's good at getting him behind. His movement in a striker position is very nice. His shooting, what we saw today, there was a few questionable shots in there. You know, that green time finesse shot. But then there was other shots that we didn't really expect to go in, flew in. So overall, pretty solid card. But I do think they went a little bit over the top. 1.4 mil for a card that ain't got finesse shot plus. A card that ain't got base technical or quick step. Mm. Not sure about that price, EA. Not sure about that price. Not a big fan of it, but he ain't a bad card for sure. Pele, there's only one thing that is missing on this card. And again, it is the finesse shot plus. He's an unreal card though. His dribbling is amazing. His shooting is solid. Uh, Pays getting him behind, solid as well. 82 strength. I didn't really see, I didn't really feel like he was that weak though. Like usually with 82 strength, especially with the center backs and like midfielders we match up against nowadays, they've got all like incredible strength, don't they? But he didn't really feel like he had 82 strength. It's a good card. A very good card. I think if you have got Zerbu in a striker position or if you have got Mia Ham in a striker position, I think it's probably better to stick with those two. I'll be honest. But uh, don't sleep on Pele. But he is very good. It's just, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to see no finesse shot plus and go, all right, I'll stick with my Mia Ham and Azebu. And I think that is probably the correct thing to do. But he is good. He's a very, very, very nice card. And of course, R9 is R9 at the end of the day. The card is broken. Incredible. There's not really much else to say about this guy other than he is the best striker in the entire game. He's like the best, uh, he's the best striker I have used for sure. Alvarez, I wouldn't say he's S+. Plus. I wouldn't say he's up there. I would say a strong S tier. Uh, Pele as well. He's got like one foot in the S plus tier and one foot in the S tier. 
again, I know I keep saying it. It's just like, you guys know how good the Finesse Shot Plus is in this game. I don't think, you know, I don't think anyone is sitting there going, all right, the Finesse Shot Plus is bad. Everyone knows how good it is. And if he did have it, it's a comfortable S plus tier for him.